Hey, Shalom, double honesty, apostles of Great Millstone. Okay, honesty brothers will be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And um, all praises on to Yahweh, Bashi, Meow, Shai, Brock, the Yahweh, Brock, the Yahweh, Shai, Brock, the Yahweh, Brock, the Yahweh, Shai, Brock, the Yahweh, Brock, the Yahweh, Shai. So I'm, uh, I was in my uh, little apartment here today thinking upon, you know, a, a particular scripture, okay? That which is written within the book of Ecclesiasticus, the, the ninth chapter and the eleventh verse, with regards to these um to these women, okay. Pretty much, you got a, a, a few brothers out there that you know they're in decent situations, and then you got other brothers, <laughs> myself included, where you are in um um uh, questionable uh 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 situations, man. Right, with regards to these. These women, these whores, okay, these slags. And sometimes you might actually meet an actual woman, which, you know, that's a few and far between, okay? But then that goes, you know, that, that really led me to thinking, well, if the most, most sides got it to where all of these prophecies about a man uh, uh, becoming a thousand, okay, and, 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 you know, basically breeding the hell out of, of a lot of women, okay, then it stands to reason that the time and opportunity for these things isn't isn't right, okay? So you might have a handful of individuals out here that got their mind in the gut, <laughs> so to so to speak. And let's just be honest about it. We're all men. Your mind's gonna be in the gutter, all right? <laughs> really, most of the time, okay? But you're supposed to be spiritual and balanced about how you um navigate through that uh, particular inkling. And really, this is the point of this video, because as you're gonna see from this video. Not only are you gonna have it to where the most high is gonna have you have just multitude fields of resources and and and, and wealth and, and cow and goat whatever whatever you got these Arabs right now boiling like it's there's no tomorrow well guess what we're gonna be the ones that that they're talking about Arab money man it's gonna be that Israelite money and you're gonna have it to where these other nations they're gonna be trying to emulate how we navigate through our finances and resources. But another resource, yes, and I said resource, another resource that we're going to have to our disposable, right, is them women. Because there's one thing that you could do with a woman that you can't do with any other resource. And that's repopulate the whole entirety of the whole earth. Okay, breed. Okay, but the time and opportunity for you meeting the, the ones that the most size is going to bring about, which ain't going to be the ones that you're going to be meeting to these days, man. For the most part, you're going to be meeting straight up demons because the time and opportunity that is going to be brought about right now is for time for you to catch up. Okay, when you go to the book of, oh, is it the book of Hebrews? Or is it the book of Romans, the 12th, chapter, uh, 12th or 14th chapter? It talks about chastening. You go to the book of Ecclesiastes, the second chapter, it says, look, my son, if you come to the, you know, to, to, to serve the most, I prefer your heart for temptation. And one of the, the first thing that goes is having any kind of decent woman. You can just forget about that because that won't turn into a, a straight up demon. Why? Because now she's got competition. And as far as this world is concerned, you're supposed to be absorbed in the, into that woman, man. Okay, but see, here's what's beautiful and here's what I'm going to try to elaborate on as I go through this video. You got a lot of these so-called uh, quote-unquote, and I say quote-unquote loosely, but pretty decent women out there. You got a hell of a lot of them walking around, okay, with a with, uh, 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 single Okay, all right, because they've got um they've got what's known as um uh, uh, standards that are too high. Okay, their standards is all messed up because well, guess what? They're drinking that Babylon juice. But as you gonna see within the scriptures, the scripture says that what that people shall be within the day of that power. So you got it to where now they want an educated man with this car and this that and the third. And as you can see from this particular article, look, I don't get dwell too much into this social crap. Uh, uh, don't take this video in the wrong way. This is just to make a point. But pretty much what you see out there, they're saying that there's a man shortage. And why is there a man shortage? Because Esau has fed these women, especially these women, BS, man. Okay, he's fed them a, a, a standard that can't be, that can't, it, ain't no real man going to be out there trying to really do what, 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 what these women are trying to do. That means he ain't real man. But see, when the Mosai raises the 12 child of Israel out, in order to fulfill prophecy, you're going to have to have me. And a lot of these women, I I'm, I'm met them. There's women out there that are in, in their late 20s and they're, they're single and they're virgins, man. I've met them. 
Okay? I've met her. Okay? And that's a, that's a beautiful thing that the Mosai allowed me to see that because now I could really come out and say, look, boom, that's what the Mosai's got it out there. Okay? You got a lot of women out there, they're in, you know, false religions. Okay, they believe that they 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 believe in Islam and and they're straight up Christians and so on and so forth. So they're basically untouched. I say basically because we're still in Babylon, but these bitches are basically untouched. Okay, all right, they, they, their vagina has never had no penis inside of it. So you can understand if I'm gonna be vulgar. And guess what? The more sides got them in them bugged out ideas. So when the, the twelve tribes of Israel, the, the house of David is raised up. You're going to have some half-decent meat to work with. And I say half-decent because we are in Babel, man. Okay, that trueness, that purity, that's really going to be a thing of the kingdom. But guess what? The Mosai is always going to have a remnant of goodies to give on to his men. <laughs> okay, so this is the book of Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter on the 11th verse. It says, and I return, and I saw under the sun that race is not for the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet, uh, uh, neither yet bread to the wise, Okay, no yet riches to the understanding, no yet favor to uh, to men of skill, but time and chance happen it to all men. Now this scripture really, and this is where the most sides really opened in my mind out a little bit, because we really have to apply balance. Okay, when you're understanding the scriptures, you have to apply balance, man. Okay, so you when you read the scripture, you're thinking, oh, tomorrow, yeah, maybe that's my chance, or that's gonna be my time, or whatever, whatever. We have to apply balance. Really, what's going to happen now is going to catch up. But but also to flip it to their, their side, which is the balance of it. A lot of these women, they're walking into basically psychopaths, man. As far as they're concerned, they ain't never met a real man in the entire, entirety of their real life. Okay? But see, they ain't going to meet you. So time and chance applies to them. And when they see the real man raised up, the men at Great Millstone, and the men that teach the same doctrine that the Lord's teaching them, when they see that, well, guess what? The scripture says what the scripture says. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And that goes far beyond just women. But this really, this video is dealing with that aspect of that resource that I call women. And it is a resource. Okay. It is a resource. When you go out there and you watch movies like Mad Max. Okay. Fury Road. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. Mad Max. Uh, Okay, Mad Max, right, Fury Road, okay, and um, and if I put the wives there, okay, you brothers that watch the film, you know exactly what I'm talking about, because this is really how the Mosai is going to have it, and that goes into another point, which I'm going to touch on within the book of, um, uh, 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 within the book of Isaiah, the, the um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, Isaiah the 13th chapter, okay, so let's go to this, so you go into Mad Max, and, and you see the wives, I don't want to spoil the movie if you haven't seen the movie, but pretty much this is this was all one dude's a, a breeding pot, okay? Because this is like a, a post-apocalyptic film, okay? And he said all of these women, basically they were without blemish, okay? And what I was showing you here is that you're going to have certain women out there. I've met them. I've met them, okay? You're going to have certain women out there. They're up in age or they're young or whatever, whatever, and they ain't never touched, they ain't never been touched with them, uh, 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 with them, I mean, uh, after she met me, she was touched, but, but that's a, you know, that's a different story for a different day, but pretty much, you know, you're going to have a lot of women out there that are into Islam, into Christianity, okay, or their standards is, is been obscured because guess what, this world is mad, okay, and that's going to be a lot of women, okay, notwithstanding, you're also going to have to wear a lot of these so-called women that are, you know, for all intents and purposes, ain't whores because they got married off or something like that, where well, the scripture says that their wives are going to be ravaged. Why? Because a lot of these dudes are, are, are undercover homosexuals. They're, they're, they're blaspheming against the men of the Lord. And when you read about the story about King David and how the Messiah slayed that wicked dude, well, guess what? King David took that woman and the man's resources, man. Okay? He took that man and his resources, man. Okay? So that's going to be happening a, 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 a lot when the Messiah takes out this kingdom. So really... You gotta get your mind out the gut, man. You gotta get your mind in, in, into the kingdom mode. And really, this movie is a good example of that because this is a, a post apocalyptic film. And what happened with, within the situation is that this dude, okay, you see the dude, the, the dude was basically a monster, man. He looked like a monster because of the nuclear radiation and all of that, okay. But he was the king of that particular region. Okay, not trying to try not, not to, uh, to give too much away if you haven't watched the movie already. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's a damn good film. 
Okay, real, real good, good, you know, real effects. Okay, the, the effects is, is off the chain and all of that is a damn good spectacle. Okay, but these were all of his, his so-called untouched uh, wives, man. And he popped them women like they were resources, man. Okay, he breeded with them. And when they came and took his women, okay, that's what he went out there for. And one of the other bosses, one of the other kings was like, all of this war, okay, pretty much all of this war for five virgins, uh, for well, I want to say five virgins, but pretty much unblemished uh, uh, children. He says, all of this war for all of the, for these girls. And, and I think his response was like, look, you're going to get good children out of that. Now for us, we're going to get children. So they're going to be good anyway. They're going to be Israelites. Okay, so the same thing is gonna uh, apply. So let's go to this scripture right here in the book of um, Isaiah, the thirteenth chapter, and um, this is gonna be um, this is gonna be within the um, and if you get offended that I said women are resources, then you're just you're just too you're too much in Babylon, man. You're too you're too far gone, man. You need to reevaluate <laughs> the decisions that you've made in your life to get you to the point where you think women are not a resource. Yeah, you could love a resource. You can love a woman. The scripture talks about how, how different men, ancient men, love their women, this, that, and the third. But beyond that, it's just a resource. It's replaceable just like anything else. That's why the scripture, when you really read this scripture, what does it say? It says, a man shall be as, uh, as right here, 12 verse. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even the golden wedge of all fur. So the man is going to be made uh, uh, precious. But really, when you understand what the scripture is saying there, then what you understand is that gold is 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 is, is um precious for its uh, rarity and its purity. So men are going to be made uh, 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 pure and rare, and that's what's going to happen in the post-apocalyptic world. That's why you had resource like this within this movie because you had few men left. Because wait, guess what? When war pops off, who's going to be out there battling? The man's going to be battling. The scripture talks about within the book of Joel, the third chapter, how the, the Messiah was going to pour out the spirit upon the Euphrates and all of them men are going to get joined up into it. And what they're going to do, they're going to eliminate each other, notwithstanding the Lord when he comes back, he's going to eliminate a lot of these dudes. Apply the, 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 the story of, um, uh, of King David to it and that wicked dude. Well, all of these niggas is wicked, man. Jake, okay, all of them dudes is wicked. Now, I ain't going to say, look, look at a man's woman because he's, going, he's wicked and that, and that could be yours. That's going off. Okay, that's that's backdoor of covetousness. But do know this, what the scripture says is their wives is going to be ravaged. Now, in order for that not to be adultery, guess what? A lot of dudes going to be getting put to death on the account of being wicked. So you're all better off just being in this truth, man. Irregardless of whether your woman sticks with you or not, <laughs> sticks with you. Because you're going to get all of that back and then some. Okay, for this scripture to be fulfilled, which I'm going to get within the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter, for you to become a thousand, to become a nation. Well, last time I checked... One woman pops up one kid every nine months, okay? Apply some recovery time to that. You're looking at one kid a year, and then her ovaries is going to shut down in a couple of years after that. So, you're shit out of luck. You might get good 10, 10 out of them. But after that, look, <laughs> that's going to be unusable. So, really, what you're going to be thinking is, okay, how is that? How is the Lord going to uh, gonna do that? He's going to have it to where a lot of these dudes are going to be killed up because they were wicked. Okay, a lot of the, oh, hey, a lot of these women gonna be killed up because they're wicked. But see, they're a resource. It's like killing. It's like killing cows. <laughs> it's pointless. <laughs> All right, unless they're GMO. <laughs> of which, hey, you got GMO. You you got GMO bitches out here now. Okay, you got them transge transgender bitches now. They're they're GMO. Okay, untouchable. Okay, that's poison within the earth. The Messiah is gonna have to eliminate that. Okay, he's gonna eliminate that. Not have to, he's gonna eliminate that. Okay, so let's read this and says, and I'll punish the world for their evil. How's the Lord gonna punish their, the, the, the world for their evil? By death, okay? And the wicked for their iniquity and cause the arrogancy of the proud to seize and lay the, haughty of the, the haughtiness of the terrible. Okay, I'll make a man more precious than fine gold, even the golden wedge of Ophir. I'll shake the heavens and the earth shall move out of her place and the wrath of the Lord of hosts Right, and in that day, okay. So now let's go to um the 16th verse and says, Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. Or hey, when you got it to where you got them heathen kids out there, okay. Hey, you're gonna have to put them to death. Those are the rules. And you go to the you got these Christians talking about uh, um you got the, these Christians talking about um uh, they know the scriptures. Well, the Lord's gonna have it to where a lot of children are gonna be put put well uh, put down. <laughs> Okay, because the, the 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 scripture says that when you conquer a particular nation, you're supposed to put those children down. Now, I ain't got that kind of spirit on me now, man. But guess what? 
when the Lord puts the order out, is you or their heads, what do you think the Lord's going to have, have, have his men do? Okay? The men of the Lord is going to be uh, uh, sweeping, uh, sweep, uh, uh, um, they're going to be doing what the scripture says, man. It says, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished, man. Okay? You're going to, oh, whew, jeez. This ain't, this ain't for the faint hearted. <laughs> okay? And the 18th verse elaborates on that point. I was saying, their bows also shall, and this to come up the Mies, which is the Russians, their bows also shall dung the young men to pieces, and their eyes shall have no pity for the fruit of the womb, and their, their eyes shall not spare children. Okay, so if you're really on a kingdom minded type mentality, all of that's going to make sense. All of that's going to make sense because you've watched movies when that's been done. You watching Game of Thrones, you got these people getting so emotional, but they will sit back and watch Game of Thrones and they will see everything I'm talking about being played out, play for play, as I've read the scriptures, uh, precept for precept, and they'll have no problem with it. But the minute you apply that to real times and say that's actually from the Bible, people got a problem with it. Why? Because these people ain't about the Bible, man. Okay, they ain't about the scriptures, but going back onto this point I was making, in order for the Lord to apply these things to come into fruition, well, guess what? It stands to reason that these women uh, haven't had the opportunity to meet the men of the Lord. And that opportunity is going to come when the Lord raises the men of the Lord up and it's time for you to enjoy those goodies. Right now, it's time for daily bread and hell. Okay, daily bread and hell. And sometimes that might mean a piece of ass. Sometimes not. <laughs> okay. So, uh, um, especially when you're living in Babylon, like I said, a lot of these women, they just got a, a, a ridiculous standards. And because we ain't in our power, you can't be, you can't be, look, you can't, you can't, you can't put these bitches in, in, into order. But that's why the scripture says what it says within Psalm, that people shall be willing in the day of that power. So when that power is manifested, hell, you might have dealt with a certain chick in, in, in the past. All right. You apply the same situation when you, if you had the power the most I was going to give you, well, guess what? That's going to be put into one um, perspective. And that demon ain't even going to jump on that hole, man. Okay? So let's go to the scripture here. Uh, Isaiah 60 and 22. It says, one shall be, A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. <laughs> okay? So, hey, that's pretty much self-explanatory. But the point I was making here is, how are you going to become a thousand with just one woman, man? That's impossible, man. That ain't going to happen. Okay? It's going to take a long time. Okay? But see, when the more size got into where you go, all the, I'll be honest, there's a lot of lonely women out there. It just makes sense. If you ain't bumping into, I mean, if you're bumping into, you know, a, a basically daily, you know, daily bread ass, <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it, you know, <laughs> it's the stuff you wouldn't rather mention on record, if that's what you're bumping into, well, it stands to reason the same thing is happening on the other side. You got a whole bunch of bitches out there, fine as hell, untouched, okay? Pretty much untouched. Okay, and they just ain't meeting, you know, the right individuals. Okay, because what? Because the Most High has reserved it for the time where Jacob is gonna be raised up out of the earth. Okay, he's gonna be raised up and made into 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 the glory of the earth, the salt of the earth. And in that time, that's when those resources is gonna be available. That time and the opportunity is gonna manifest itself. And guess what? You're gonna have to worry about no goddamn adultery, man. Okay, so that's that scripture we're with. Let's finish off here within the book of Isaiah, the fourth chapter and the first verse. It says, And in, this, in that day, seven women shall take hold of thy hand of, of one man, saying, We eat our own bread, we wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Okay? And um, that's self-explanatory as well too, man. Okay, seven women is is basically an, uh, uh, a number of completion. So it might be seven for one brother, maybe 700 for another brother. We know, we read about the uh, scriptures about King David and King Solomon. They had a hell of a woman, man. And that was like an omen for what's going to happen out there within the future now. Where you're just going to be like, women are just going to be, what well, really women are going to be turned to the, to the position that they, that the most I created them to be in, man. Subordinate. Because they're going to be in abundance. See, it's all crazy, great. Oh, it, 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 it's fantastic now. Okay, living in this hell, okay, you got to think about the decision one bitch made and apparently that's just fucked your whole life over. But really, when you go into the kingdom and you got multitudes of them, well, guess what? That's not going to happen because you got multitudes of them and it ain't going to even affect you like that. Okay, so, I mean, anyways, that's all like pretty much mostly like worldly things and trying to navigate it through the scripture. So I apologize if it's a bit... Um, if it's just a bit too a base, okay, we'll return back onto um, 
um, regular programming uh, 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 soon enough. Okay, all right. So with that, I'm gonna say, "Oh praise unto Yahweh, by Shimi Asai, I mean, you know, hopefully the point was made. The point was like, look, get your mind out the gutter. Okay, you you ain't gonna be the most is gonna provide you with good sustenance when this kingdom comes. Okay, good sustenance. You don't get daily bread out. Of it. You're just gonna get daily bread. You can't make too much out of daily bread. Granted, you're gonna have some situations that are better than others, but it's mostly gonna be daily bread. Every man's needs is, is, is different to the, to the next, okay? But when the Most High does raise his men up and power is magnified within those men, you're going to have a lot of these women coming out of the woodworks all of a sudden, and you're going to find out there's a lot of them, they're virgins, and a lot of them are barely touched. And I say barely touched because we're in Babylon now. There's some women out here that slept with like 50 dudes. Ain't nobody want to be waking up in the kingdom to that. But in the scripture says, here's the flip side to that, applying balance. Scripture says a lot of those women that have touched, been touched of 50 odd times by 50 odd different dudes, a lot of them women are going to make it on the chariots before the other ones. Okay, because you also got some other women out there that'll try to drag you out the truth and she might be a virgin. <laughs> it says, hey, you got to apply balance, man. You got to apply balance, man. Okay, so, I mean, hopefully um, that made you think at the very least about uh, 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 some things. Okay, um, hopefully I got to some conclusions that are of um, of use. Okay, uh, um, oh praise unto you, my shimmy outside. Double honesty, apostles, a great millstone. Honest to you, brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.